My husband's best friend got caught paying for a happy ending and it's ruined their relationship together. My husband, 35M, and I, 35F, have been together for 7 years and married for 5. He has two older brothers with whom he isn't particularly close to. The one person he is very close to is his cousin, Aaron. They lived together after my husband graduated college, Aaron was the best man at our wedding, and he even lived with us for a year while we were married so he could finish school. I like Aaron a lot, as he has felt like a brother-in-law to me, much more than my actual in-laws have ever felt. These past three years have been rough for my husband and I between COVID, there was a point where both of our fathers were in terrible health, and we've also dealt with infertility issues, and sadly, in July, we lost our baby at 34 weeks pregnant due to complications. Aaron has been there for us throughout all of that. He is probably the person my husband can lean on the most for support. Last night, I received a call from Aaron's longtime girlfriend, Jennifer. She asked if it was okay if she could come over and have some girl talk with me. Jennifer and Aaron have been together for about as long as my husband and I have. She has three kids from a previous relationship, and we love them dearly. They sometimes spend the night at our house, and her older kids occasionally dog sit for us. So Jennifer comes over and proceeds to tell me about some serious problems she has had with Aaron, and she is at a loss at what to do. The main crux of her issues is that Aaron is in an insane amount of debt, and has basically used her as a place to crash for seven years. He is constantly criticizing her parenting, saying she babies her teenage children too much. Finally, he's lying about where he is going, and his locations have him at a massage place that offers happy endings. I hate to say that the financial issues and the parenting issues were already things I vaguely knew about. Even my husband and I have called Aaron out about how he talks about her kids, but I had no idea how bad it was. We talked through it, and I flat out asked her, if he is going to a massage parlor and getting a happy ending behind your back, would you still stay with him? And she said yes. So I gave her some advice about boundaries and talking to him, and I left it at that. After she left, I went upstairs and told my husband what she said. He proceeds to have a complete breakdown, full on ugly crying. I finally get him to talk, and he starts saying things like, can I just have one person in my life that I can trust? I can't go to my brothers to talk, and now I can't trust Aaron because I know he's been doing this crap. He's freaking better than this. He was completely and utterly destroyed, and I feel absolutely terrible. I didn't even think about it when I told him what Jennifer said. I didn't even think that it could ruin the relationship. Aaron is the only person he goes to for advice and really looks up to as a big brother, and I just completely destroyed that image. I'm going with the classic pretend it didn't happen technique this morning, but I just feel like I completely took away the one family member he felt comfortable turning to for emotional support. What should I do? Update 1. I don't have much of an update on Jennifer and Aaron, other than they are broken up, but my husband and I have heard that like 20 times before and don't really buy it. As for my husband and I, we both work from home, and I tried my hardest to avoid the subject of Aaron and Jennifer. While I was in the shower, he came into the bathroom and said, by the way, yes, I'm still upset about Aaron. So when we went out to dinner last night, I apologized to him. Not exactly I'm sorry I told you, but more like I'm sorry that happened. He said, you have absolutely nothing to apologize for. I am upset at Aaron. Paranoid me said, are you sure you aren't mad at me at all? My husband said, I am about 1% mad at you, because you probably shouldn't have told me after I ate my gummies. We take the green kind of gummies at night to sleep, and I guess he had already taken a few by the time I came upstairs, and was being sent to outer space when I broke the news to him. I did tell him that there were more crappy things Aaron has done that I didn't get a chance to tell him because he got so upset. I asked him if he wanted to know, to which he said, not now, maybe another night, and we enjoyed our dinner and chilled for the evening. I don't know what is going to happen moving forward. He is very insistent that he is not going to reach out to Aaron, and Aaron still has no idea Jennifer talked to us or that my husband knows all the crap he has done. Maybe he will wake up tomorrow in a different timeline, where no bad things ever happen. We can all dream, right? Update 2. A while ago, I posted that I messed up by ruining my husband's relationship with his cousin and surrogate brother, and a couple of things have happened since then. Jennifer said that at the end of the day, she didn't want to break up with him. I can't force her to break up with someone she wants to stay with, and my husband, while still angry, hasn't revealed to Aaron that we know all the things he has done. Throughout all of this, I realized that Jennifer's self-esteem must be so low that she is willing to stay with someone who treats her poorly. So I had my mission, build up Jennifer's self-esteem so that she will break up with Aaron on her own, and it worked. I sent Jennifer these two books someone recommended about loving yourself. I am not a very crunchy person, but Jennifer is. Both books feature women talking about experiencing abuse and rising above to become career women. It reminded me of Jennifer crying to me and saying, I feel like all I do is support his dreams. When is it my turn? Which broke my heart when she said that, so I sent her the books and wrote her a note saying that I loved her and wanted her to realize how amazing she is. After that, she kicked Aaron out of the bedroom and made him sleep in a separate room in her house. She told him that if he wanted to continue their relationship, and since he refused to prove he wasn't at a massage parlor, if he wanted back in her bed, then he needed to agree to couples counseling, which of course, he didn't want to do. He kept begging to sleep back in the bed with her. 
When she told me, I commended her for putting up a good boundary and encouraged her to stick to that boundary. A couple of weeks ago, Aaron and Jennifer came into town and met us for lunch. My husband and Aaron went out, and Jennifer and I went out alone. Jennifer was commenting about them having issues because she still won't let him back in her bed. Basically, he started doing petty things like changing all the passwords to their streaming services, but then he made a romantic dinner for her the next night. I started putting the bug in her head that Aaron needed to move out. I carefully worded it and just said, it doesn't mean you have to break up, but he needs to get out of your house. Then I sent her a podcast episode about a woman leaving her cheating ex. Not as subtle, but I thought I could push it a little. Last night, Aaron called my husband and said, Jennifer and I broke up. It's permanent this time. Then Jennifer texted me, saying that Aaron was officially kicked out, and he is living with a friend. They had a big blow up because they share a music account, and he deleted all of her playlists. She even left the house and had her brother and mother stay while he got all of his stuff. Of course, he had to be petty on his way out and took all her remotes. I told my husband, and he immediately overnighted her new remotes and new streaming services for her to use. They still have their finances tangled up a little bit, but hopefully, she can get that undone quickly. She appreciated that my husband and I support her even though we are Aaron's family. She is really hoping my husband can help Aaron get his act together. Unfortunately, I think my husband is really done with Aaron. We've been going through our own grief counseling and issues with my family, and he just doesn't have room for Aaron's BS. He's told me what disappoints him the most is that he is rethinking every conversation he and Aaron have ever had. At my husband's bachelor party, Aaron went missing for an hour. He told us and Jennifer that it was because he couldn't find his car. Now, knowing everything we know, he was probably paying someone for services. He told us Jennifer asked him to buy a van when they first started dating so they had enough room for the three kids, but Jennifer never asked him to do that. He just showed up with a van and his stuff, and moved his crap in. I told him, however he wants to move forward with Aaron, is his decision. Aaron has been there for us during some really awful times, and I would love a scenario where Aaron would be honest and my husband could help him in some way, but that is up to my husband. Even my therapist said to me, do you have room for this right now? And the clear answer is no. I do hope at the end of the day this breakup is permanent, and I really hope Aaron and Jennifer stay single for a while.